You know, one of the interesting topics that you hit on a lot, and it got me super fascinated, along with other people too, it just kind of keeps showing up in my life. Nikola Tesla. And what the hell is this 369 code, dude? Like, yeah, it really seems like there's this code to potentially the universe. And I know that you studied this a lot. I know that's a mm -hmm. big claim, but I'd love to just dive into what that means, what it is, and what are your findings with Nikola Tesla? Yeah, uh, Tesla always intrigued me. He was always, um, you know, I, I think I heard back in the day, he, he's responsible for something like 80% or 90% of, you know, the household appliances that we use every single day, yet he was left out of the history books, right? So that intrigued me right away. And I, and I always had a good understanding that, you know, if someone's left out of the history books or that in, in, information was suppressed, then typically it's truth for me anyways. Um, so I dove deep into Nikola Tesla. I found out he was trying to provide the world with free energy. And I did come across um, something that, you know, he, he talked about. He has a quote and it's like, um, if you only knew the magnificence of three, six and nine, you would have a key to the universe. So Tesla figured out that essentially three, six and nine harnessed a higher vibrational you know, energies than all these other numbers. And it's through vortex mathematics. So essentially, he, he realized that all numbers in this universe only go from one to nine. So when you add up the digital root of all numbers, they only go from one to nine. So if I can try to simplify this, I'll try to make it as easy as possible. But it is a little bit difficult to, um, to explain. But if you take one and you double it, it's two. Two doubled is four. Four doubled becomes eight. 8 doubled is 16. So 1 plus 6 equals 7, right? 7 doubled is 14. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 doubled is 10. 1 plus 0 equals 1. And it goes on in that pattern. 3, 6, and 9 stay separate from that pattern. And this is where it kind of gets interesting. When you take 3 and you double it, it's 6. 6 doubled is 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. It goes back and forth with 3 and 6, right? 9 is separate from that pattern. Now, Every single time we double nine, it always equals nine. So we go nine, 18, 27, 36, nine, 18, one plus eight equals nine, 27, two plus seven equals nine, 36, three plus six equals nine, on into infinity. So Tesla realized that these numbers were much more powerful than the rest. And he used these numbers in everything that he did. Uh, he would only stay in hotel rooms divisible by three, six, and nine. He would, you know, keep... 18 napkins on his table or crazy things like this. And this is how I've incorporated this code into my life because I realized that, you know, it was really important as far as manifestation. Like I write three affirmations in the morning in the present tense and I speak them three times each. So three, six, nine, I've been doing this for years. And ever since I started doing this, I started seeing my reality change. When I go to the gym. I always do uh, reps in, in three, six, nine. So it'd be like nine reps or 12 reps and three sets, right? So it's, it's, it's been something that I've incorporated into my life and literally everything I do just like him. And, um, I actually got a tattoo on me, my first tattoo right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, mm -hmm. but, um, the, the, the key part down here says three, six, nine. And then the top is the flower of life pattern. So he said, if you only knew the magnificence of three, six, nine, you have a key to the universe. So I put the key to the universe right here for my first tattoo, because that's how much, um, you know, I believe in these things and, and understand that it is very powerful. And I've been seeing numbers for, you know, my whole life. So it's something that I incorporated in my social media, like, uh, you know, Infinite Light 369 and, and that blew up. And so it's definitely very, very powerful when you, when you want to understand these things. And then number two, you incorporate them into your life and everything that you do. Hmm. Okay, so Grant, my editor, brother, you want to just like put graphics if you can while he was talking there to hopefully help people to visualize what he's saying as well. Yeah, there's, there's, um, if you, if you look up vortex mathematics, yeah, you'll see, you know, that, that pattern there. 